How's it going? I'm Andrew with Investors Hub, and we've decided to start a new series on the show here. It's basically going to be Andrew's stock picks. I figured that it'd be interesting for you, good for me, and entertaining for everybody involved. So I'm not an investing professional, nor am I a scientist. So these are just my thoughts on a company that I've decided to invest in. I encourage you to do more research on this company before you decide to invest in it. And basically that goes for any stock that we talk about on this channel, whether it be from myself or our guests. So I'll be getting to burn an itch that only biotechs can solve. <laughs> So I've been getting to burn an itch that only biotechs can solve, which is why I decided to invest in biotechs. And uh, the company is Editas, E-D-I-T, that's their ticker symbol. And they're doing gene editing therapy in the CRISPR technology. And uh, I'll give you a pop science review of what CRISPR is. So yes, CRISPR is a gene editing technique that utilizes proteins found in the immune system of bacteria cells to perform what's basically is DNA surgery. We're doing what man does best, which is hijacking a natural system and twisting it to our ends. And this uh, technology has been around for a while, and Editas is working on developing tools that use that system, or treatments that use those tools, I think is a better way of saying it. This bacterial immune protein is called a Cas protein, and its job is to smash up viruses. Like a little bloodhound, you give it a scent, in this case a piece of RNA, and it'll find a piece of DNA that has a section that codes to the RNA. This protein is designed in nature to interact with foreign genetic material and hits at a specific point it's given the scent for. Some kinds flick it on and off, some kinds smash it, and then when the DNA heals, it heals broken and doesn't work anymore. Scientists can modify the Cas protein and or use different Cas proteins from different bacterium to alter the exact nature of how the tool attacks and feed it different RNA to change the target. So two kinds of gene editing are in vivo and ex vivo. So in vivo gene editing is any kind of editing that's done on the fly inside of your body. Ex vivo editing is gene editing that's done outside of your body, and then once the deed is done, the finished product is then put inside of you. So for Editas, their in vivo treatment that's the farthest along is their Edit 101 treatment. It's in its phase one trials. Edit 101 is trying to treat Lieber congenital amaurosis, which makes you go blind, by targeting the most common variant of the disease. The solution isn't a comprehensive one, it's not a comprehensive cure-all, because the disease can be caused by lots of different genes. But Editas says that the gene they're targeting for destruction is the most common one. Their ex vivo in phase 1 trials is a system of attacking the genes that cause sickle cell anemia. They've also got an ex vivo treatment that's a bit farther away that edits helper T cells to target cancers. So I'd also like to mention that their website isn't ugly or boring, and I think that's pretty great. It's something I look for whenever I am doing investing, just because you know, your website is the front lobby of your company, right? Is that It's the front lobby of the online version of your company, which is quite possibly the most important version of your company. And if they keep their front lobby clean, keep their website clean, then they care about their public image. And I wanna invest in companies that care about their public image. So I like Editas because they're doing research in hot topics and biotechs are all about those hot topics. They're doing work in gene editing, cancer, blindness, and blood diseases, all of which are high profile things that people are keeping their eyes on. So biotechs are heavily, heavily, heavily impacted by catalytic events, more so than any other kind of investing. So they've got FDA approvals, trial data, FDA review deadlines, and industry conferences, and those are things that are more unique to biotechs, along with earnings and investor meetings, which are you know more ubiquitous across all businesses. So Editas has a data catalyst event on September 27th called the International Symposium on Retinal Degeneration. I took a few takes. The fast track workshop starts on that date, but they don't appear to be presenting then. The meat and potatoes of the event starts on the 28th and runs through October 2nd. I couldn't download the program for the event and the latest press release is pretty vague as to precisely when they'll be presenting. We do know that they'll be presenting new data related to their edit 101 treatment, which is their in vivo blindness cure that I mentioned before. Regardless of when they're presenting, I'm treating the run up period to the event to be until the 27th. Biopharma Catalyst sets the date of the event at the 27th, and I suspect that that is the information that people are going to be using whenever they're making their plays. Some financial information, they reportedly have about 45 months worth of cash at their current burn rate according to Biopharma Catalyst, and their Q2 press release from August 4th 
says that they think they're funded until 2023. They last had an offering back in January of 2021. Kathy Wood, lover or hater, has them in her ARC ETF in the 27th place. So we're also not operating in just pure blue sky territory here. It's not at all-time highs. The all-time high was some time ago, and it was about $100. And then it dipped from $100 to $75, and then back up to $100 over a period of about eh, three weeks or so. And then from that $100, it precipitated down over several months to the 30s. So this thing does do what biotechs do do, <laughs> which is that they run up and then precipitate down, but it didn't just absolutely collapse. So that gives me hope that we have time uh, between now and the catalytic event that it won't just totally fall apart on itself. So there are three plays that I saw, and I think they're the same three plays for all biotechs. I'd like to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below as to how you like to trade your bios. And the three plays that I saw were buy and then sell shortly before the catalytic event, hold through the catalytic event, or buy for a long period of time and then hope that this technology takes off and that they end up getting bought by a bigger bio and lots of money gets made. So I've chosen to ride the catalytic event, not necessarily because I think that this is a bad company or that CRISPR technology isn't going to work. I think that CRISPR and gene editing is super exciting. It's why I picked Editas. Fixing diseases at the ground floor is super interesting and amazing. However, I just don't have the guts to, to, to do the roulette, so to speak, to, to do the, uh, the Russian roulette of the holding through the catalytic event. And generally speaking, the biotech goes up by a huge amount or goes down by a huge amount. And I'm just not willing to take that risk. So if I choose to get back into Editas after selling before the catalytic event at some point, I'll do so on a case-by-case -case basis. I'll see where they're at, I'll see what they've reported, and I'll see what the price is, and then I'll make my judgment from there. Uh, but as of right now, I am too scared to hold through the catalytic event. Or as the professionals would put it, it doesn't fit my risk profile. So again, share your thoughts down in the comment section below, what you think of biotechs, editas, and other biotechs that you might be looking at. I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. And yeah, if you liked the video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow us on Twitter, iHub underscore vision, and I'll see you again soon.